So I found a rabbit hole of projects and videos of micropower circuits that basically harvest energy from unusual sources or in an odd way. And disclaimer, this has nothing to do with over unity and free energy. And in my opinion, if you want to dedicate time to those, a better project would be to instead watch paint dry. And considering that such micropower is basically undetectable to the human eye or ear, one of the best ways to manifest such micropower is to store it little by little on like an electrolytic capacitor and release it as a spike of power on an actuator or something. And one of the, one of the best ways for doing so is using a circuit called the jowl tiff. You probably know about the jowl tiff, but not in this way. Okay, the jowl tiff before like 0.4 volts on its supply rails, it doesn't draw any current or almost, so you can charge slowly an electrolytic capacitor on its supply rails, and when reaching those kind of 0.4 volts, the base of the transistor is tickled with a little amount of current, and an oscillation happens, a burst of power, and you can drive like an LED, or maybe also a small speaker. And the fun fact about this project is that I reinvented the jowl tiff because I was trying to come up with a circuit that can do such thing using a MOSFET instead. And at some point I realized, wait, that's just the jowl tiff, but with the difference that the LED now blinks instead of staying on because there's an high stereosis of supply voltage. And this is the first circuit that I made. It uses a small MOSFET, my beloved 2N7000. There are no resistors on the driver. As transformer, there's a really small common mod choke, unmodified, and the resistor is instead in series of the supply system, the battery, and volts of 10 mega ohms. You can trust me, it's actually a 10 mega ohms resistor, anyways. This thing is micro power. I haven't measured or, or calculated anything, but probably the battery will last years and the LED will keep blinking. The second circuit is a legit jowl tiff with a BJT a BC547 and it blinks the LED with a lower brightness because the achievable supply voltage is lower now around 0.4 volts. And now we have in series with the supply rail a dual wire resistor made with China ink on a strip of paper zigzag and it's measured 84 mega ohms but to have at least 300 nanoamperes to let this thing uh, actually make the burst of oscillation i need like 26 volts from my adjustable power supply here and the fun fact this circuit is nano power not micro power because on the capacitor goes a charge of like 100 nanowatts yeah the resistor will dissipate a bit more still micro power obviously Okay, now let's start uh, harvesting power from unusual sources. The LED is blinking, but I'm not using a battery or a power supply. And I have here instead this circuit. This is a fairly famous circuit. It's called um, Energy Harvester for radio waves. It's made with germanium diodes and germanium diodes at these frequencies are mandatory in my opinion because I tried with other diodes but no, they don't work. Anyways, the power is coming instead from my, look at the cable, follow the cable, my FM receiving antenna for 88, 108. Uh, this antenna is a uh, horizontal dipole with a 1-1 one, one balloon, you can't see, not important. Anyways, and basically the LED is blinking with the power of FM broadcasts near uh, my place. Okay, actually the uh, FM transmitters in my place, in my town, are at like uh, 1.5 kilometers from my house. And I believe that this power is not all the FM broadcasts, but just one station. Anyways, uh, another thing, now we have a, a polyester plastic capacitor in parallel of the LED. Uh, I'll explain you why later. And another thing important is that there's this loop with these alligator clips here, and it works best this way without a proper connector. I'm not, sh I'm not, I'm not exactly sure why, but probably this loop makes an inductance, and with the parasitic capacitance of the diodes, 
uh, it makes some sort of voltage step up system that improves the performance, the efficiency also of this thing. And anyways, this uh, energy harvester circuit uh, with this setup here with my antenna produces a short circuit current on a multimeter measured of like 12, 13 microamperes. That is not exactly nothing in my opinion. And it's powering this circuit with like 6 microamperes. Anyways, this thing, especially probably the antenna, is very moody because if I get far away myself from the antenna or system, the LED, uh, not apparently, but it does, starts blinking faster. If I turn on my PC, it starts blinking slower, probably because the EMI of my PC counters the effect of the FM broadcast. Anyways, another thing I did a test, I turned off my whole house mains uh, electricity, uh, did literally in the dark, and uh, this thing still blinks, so yeah, it's not other things that power this thing. And you can power a, a small piezo speaker with this system, hear it? And there's no need for the uh, plastic capacitor in this case, because the speaker is already a capacitor. Or bot. And if you ask why you need that 100 nanofarads capacitor in parallel of the LED, it's because with the 6 microamperes, in my case, out of the energy harvester, the LED doesn't blink. Why? Because apparently this current is high enough to charge the electrolytic capacitors uh, fast enough and not make the burst of oscillation on the circuit here quench itself and restart again after some time. But the circuit is actually working very faintly, not enough to let, to let the LED stay on, but it's oscillating. I have here my inductive test probe circuit that is better described in this video here. It's very sensitive. And if I bring it close to the common mode shock, you can see there is, wait a second, a bit of difficulties. There is an oscillation very faint. I'm not even sure that I can detect it, detect it with my scope. And this is the short circuit current. It actually lifts the needle a bit. And here is another solution for energy harvesting. Okay, I found this system for powering the same circuit I was already using on a short video of a guy that used these photodiodes here as uh, photovoltaic cells. These are the BPW34, very famous photodiodes, and they are enough in series, put in series, to power the circuit and make the LED blink. Now the power is a bit low because I don't have my uh, desk uh, lamp on. And now I have my desk uh, lamp on. The power is higher, the LED blinks faster. The brightness is very high now. And you need now the 100 nanofarads capacitor in parallel of the LED because otherwise it doesn't blink. And the same as before, now both the transducers. Okay, now let's overpower it. We have already our uh, desk lamp on, but more power. As you can see, uh, there is no effect of the electrolytic capacitor anymore. It's continuous wave. So uh, these circuits have uh, sort of uh, ranges uh, for making the LED blink. Not every uh, supply current is ideal for every application. So as you can see, there are many fun ways to still have to pay your electricity bill. Anyways, so thank you for watching my video and bye.